And the most important item of this meditation is adopting the right mode. Because if one does not aim at the right mode, the spiritual body, which is suitable to one's adopted mood, will be hard to attain in all respects. So this is a very interesting uh, description. What is the goal of Braganuga Bhajan? How it is given? how we can receive it, and what we have to consider and what we have to be conscious and aware of while meditating and while listening. So we are, we are doing what we are doing and what we are meditating to come in contact with our soul's eternal form. But that form with which we can do loving service in the spiritual and the transcendental world to the transcendental loving divine couple Radha and Noha. And that is a process, and that is called Raga Nuga Bhajan or Rupa Nuga Bhajan, which is also explained later on. What is the difference and how to develop one pointed meditation? So, because with this material body, we cannot serve the transcendental body and realm of Vrindavan, where Radha and Mohan are playing with their eternally liberated associates. Why? Because it is uh, made of material elements and it cannot reach the transcendental realm. But this body is at the same time a temple for the soul. And we are very thankful that we have been gifted this body because by the human existence, we can use our consciousness to meditate. And this meditation is so powerful that if it is done in the right way, in the right shelter and guidance that it will develop a spiritual perceivable body in which we can serve Sri Radharani and Mohan. And this is very important that we choose in which relationship we want to serve. Otherwise, if this is not defined and if this is not you know, really gradually developed, the goal will not be reached. Just like when we have a education, there are different steps and different examinations on the way. And then at the end, there will be like a test. And then the teacher will say, test is passed or, or maybe not enough points have been reached. So in the same way, Srila Naratam Dastako is saying that Sri Guru, by his mercy, by his connection to Srimati Radhika, who is giving this extraordinary mercy as Sri Goranga in this Kali Yuga, is giving this mood or this guidance 
in the spiritual body even. But if we don't aim into the right mode, then the spiritual body will not develop or attain. Guru was giving all this, but it's our duty and our uh, responsibility to deepen it, to research and to feel and to practice. And now he is going to continue. What is this right mood in which the spiritual body will be developed and felt? And he explains that the followers of the Gaudiya Vaishnava religion practice their worship in the mood of the gopis. So for the more one's yearning for the mood of the gopis increases, the heart and mind become struck with this yearning or with this mood. And then the advancement, the development is taking place. So that is a, a general uh, explanation of, of gopis, following the gopis. We will go deeper in what kind of mood of which gopis, because in the spiritual world, there are many, many different transcendental gopis, cowherd girls, flower girls, so to say, manjaris and gopis who are elder and some are serving as a, a milkmaiden in Mother Yashoda's place. And so it's, it's important to know what kind of gopi we follow. Otherwise, if it doesn't go deeply in the heart, the consciousness will not be transformed. And that is what we hear every day from our dear beloved Guru, to give up our false ego. And this afternoon I was meditating, what is this false ego? And sometimes we are conditioned by a Christian or so background, of, oh, I am the sinner, and I have to be good. That's my false ego. But that's not true. The false ego is, is our whole existence that we have built here in this world. And that means I have to give up my wrong feelings towards myself. And that is actually that the soul, uh, on a soul level, we want this because we know we are not this and we know we are here for a certain time only. We are here for a limited time. And as a spiritual practitioner in Bhakti Yoga, we know that this time is very uh, precious. We want to use the time. And at the same time, we want to focus on our goal. So the goal is to become a servant of the gopi. In our case, Shri Matera as we all know. And the way to reach the goal is to continuously live in the feelings of service to Srimati Radhika in a way that the heart will be completely transformed. And by this transformation, it will happen. It will be with the mercy of our dear Vaishnavas, with the mercy of Lord Chaitanya. But at the same time, we are endeavoring to give up all false conceptions. That doesn't mean that we stop living our lives because we have our lives, but our conception of ourselves 
is the transformation. We have our jobs, we have our family, we have our life that we have been building up until our ages that we are now. But at the same time, we are taking birth as a young, fresh, eternal being right now. And that to, that to stress and that to keep in my heart, in my meditation. That is the point of, of Srila Naratan Bastakur. <laughs> and what is the oil? What is the, how do you say, the petrol for this? The speciality of Raganuga Bhajan is that it is driven by greed after the sweet feelings of the Braja goddesses and the consequent relish of Sri Krishna's sweetness. The sweet feelings of the goddesses of Praja and their consequent expert relish is their very own treasure. Other than them, no other group of devotees is endowed with such an extraordinary wealth of devotional feelings, and therefore there is no way to attain greed of this treasure other than through their grace. So we need the grace of those who we want to serve or be with in the spiritual realm. And we are so lucky that now at this time of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's descent, so many of them came here. We were talking today, Rupa Goswami, is Rupa Manjari, Raghunna Das Goswami, is Rati Manjari, all these beautiful, beautiful souls that have been here only 500 years ago to be assistants in Gauranga's Leela, together with Gaurangi, the golden avatar, let's say, of Sri Radhika's mercy. Wow, we are very close, if we really consider it. And if we see their life histories, they also were in high positions. They were in the government. They were really very educated and uh, well-known personalities. But they also gave up that false ego even. We know the stories that they had so many gold coins, Sanatanga Goswami and Rupa Goswami. And at one point, they wanted to give all their lives into the hands of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. They had to get rid of all these gold coins, and that was not so easy. They had to give this to their family members, and they give some to the Brahmins, because they consider that all this money, this wealth, was an obstacle in their spiritual development of a real uh, high developed Dasi. And they show us the way. They come here in this planet and they show us the way. It's not that we have to give up now uh, all our coins because we are in a different situation. We are not the Goswamis, but we are not attached. We don't identify with this uh, jobs that we have. We give everything, we give the whole energy. But internally, we know that we are eternal spirit souls on the way to develop our spiritual existence more and more to such a point that when the time comes to leave the body, we are ready for it. We have no regrets and we can easily go. And not only at that time of when we leave the body, but also now we can always be in the circumstances and at the same time be in our deep meditations. If we get the 
mercy of Srimati Radhika, of our Guru, and if we have a good circle of helpers around us. Sorry? You lift your arm or did I? Oh, it's so beautiful. So here it says that the aspiring devotees, spiritualists, the aspiring Dasis must take exclusive shelter of their lotus feet in order to attain their grace. And then by taking shelter of their lotus feet, one perfects the allegiance to their feelings. So it's like when you love someone and you say, oh, I love you, I love you, I love you. But you do a lot of nonsense that doesn't really make this person happy. Nobody will take you serious. So in the same way, if we want to please our Gurudev and our Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is Radhika's feelings in person, Krishna covered with her feelings, looking at her feelings and experiencing them, and also distributing that grace, we want to be at least a little bit following in the feelings of Rupa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami and Rati Anjari or Agunathas Goswami to have this eagerness to, to do what Mahaprabhu wanted them to do in this mission which they had gotten from him. So, so we have a guru there, we have spiritual relationships yeah. and we try to make others in that regard so happy that we can also be happy in their service and Gurudev will be happy with my service, with our service that we do together as a, a family of spiritual and all belonging. We, have, we are now a spiritual family. We are not just foreigners that come here by chance. We are all together for eternity. Because we are looking for the same uh, spiritual goal. If we go very deep, and that depth is more explained. <coughs> now, Shilanara Tondas Thako is giving this example that even Lakshmi Devi, she is the goddess of Vishnu. She is in Vaikuntha. Vaikuntha is the spiritual planet in the spiritual world. And she is a, an expansion of Srimati Radhika on the Vaikuntha planet. She wanted to meet Krishna. She was so inspired to see that, wow, that is a special personality. I am very attracted by this Krishna. I will even leave my my Vishnu. <laughs> that is very special for Lakshmi because she is always at the chest of Vishnu. But she was more attracted to Krishna. Even she had to surrender, you know? She had to learn how to become a gopi. And she had to make cow patties. She had to give up all her majesty, and she could not. She was unable to gain the touch of Krishna's foot dust, what to speak of others. She didn't, she didn't have the capacity to, to be a, 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 a sweet little cowherd girl that was playing uh, in the dust of Rindavan and bringing water and being like a maid servant. Uh, this high goddess was not able to give up her ego. <laughs> of course, we cannot say Lakshmi as an ego, right? She is a transcendental personality. But this as an example is given to give up ego means to give up all your outer uh, thinking and feeling of what you or I are. Now I'm thinking I am this little old woman. That is not true. It is only external. I am an eternal 
Dasi of Shimadiratika and I'm a shiny, very young girl. <laughs> and all of you also. Oh, isn't that funny? <laughs> but we have to remind each other. <laughs> we need mercy of Gurudev and always, you know, repeat this is what we have heard so many times. It is our human nature that we have a tendency to forget and to space out, as we say it is in, in our language. So even Lakshmi Devi had to practice this meditation to follow the gopis if she wanted to be together with Krishna. And, he, and on the other hand, he says that the Shrutis, you know, your Shruti. <laughs> Shruti, Radharadi, we are just remembering that your name comes from the Vedas. And also the Shrutis, the Vedas, did attain the mood of the gopis by following their feelings. And thus they could attain the position of a gopi during the rasa pastime. So at that's the point to follow the feelings, but whose feelings? That we have to really come closer and closer in our consciousness, really to filter. It is like when we have a filter, it depends how big is the holes, ne? what is coming through. So the filter of our consciousness must be very tight. It's only Radha Dasi. Yeah, everything else has to run through. That is a serious thing. And everything else means also the talk of our family and the talk of our God brothers and God sisters. Maybe, oh, why are they in Vrindavan again? You know, always some people are talking about you and me and so we have to really always only think one pointed. And so in Chaitanya Chaitamrita, Mahaprabhu told Sri Venkatapata, the Shrutis all follow the gopis and worship the son of the queen of Vrindavan and the mood of the gopis. And they worshipped him in allegiance to the gopis means they really meditated deeply about the gopi bath and they wanted but they wanted to be with krishna like a lover so that's one mode of a gopi and it's called sambhog ichamai <coughs> and that mood is what the gopis in general have they love Krishna and they want to be his sweethearts. They want to dance with him. They want to enjoy in the rasa dance. And these personified Vedas, they did it in the right way and so they could become Gopikas. But Lakshmi Devi, she could not surrender to becoming a cowherd girl. She could not... Uh, have a close relationship with Krishna. Suniti, so it's right when you say that Lakshmi Devi cannot give up her false ego. Yeah. Even if she is a demigod or goddess, that's ex exactly the point. She cannot give up her position. That's it. That's the fact. And because of this, she cannot enter. And if we do like Lakshmi, we think we are this body, whatever, this position, this chair, what the Pope said. Yeah. yeah. Then we will not enter. We have to give up. That's it. Thank you. Well, so give us so, but for them, it is their stories, no? that is just given here. And for us, it is our stories. We have also our stories. What do the 
my mama, my papa say, what do the teachers say, what do my boss say, we have all our bindings. <laughs> So this is the, the, the test of the cutting of the false ego, and it comes in different, different stages. And it comes even to such a stage when you think, oh, I am a I'm chanting, I'm doing, I'm vegetarian, I, I, I am in Vrindavan, I am uh, uh, the son of, my, of the guru of the whole uh, temple. That is also ego. And uh, Guru once said, even like these are the ghosts. I am the wife of of, of this uh, beautiful. Oh no, that, that you cannot say. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all ego. That's all ego. So we have to work on this intense, uh, how do you say, new identity, and that comes if we hear about it, if we meditate about it. And if we have the grace that we have received our spiritual uh, information from Gurdi, and we can go deeper and deeper in our meditations, and that is to be uh, practiced. So the example is given that the personified Vedas also took the mood of the gopis, and but this this feeling only in relationship to Krishna, and that is why they became gopis. But really, this mood is not what we aspire here in Vrindavan. In Vrindavan, in the shelter of Shrimati Radhika's lotus feet, we are aspiring to become a servant of Shrimati Radhika, because these gopis they were in different different groups. In different different uh, circumstances, also in Vrindavan. So, the blessed author Shilanaratam Thakur tells his own mind to take exclusive shelter of the lotus feet of the Gopikas. Giving up a mind's absorption and attachment to all other topics. Taking shelter of the lotus feet of the gopis in all respects, with body, minds and word, is taking exclusive shelter. And the exclusive shelter of the lotus feet of Shivadarani now comes Srimati Radhika's exclusive shelter, who is the crown jewel of all the gopikas. She is the, the origin and the source of all the gopis. It's the greatest love of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas who practice the service of Radha. So we have heard also the last days from our Jainanda Maharaj, how kind of many different moods there are between the gopis. Most of the gopis that come from the background of being personified shrutis from the Vedas or the rishis from different, different time places in our universes, not only here on this earth planet, they have this desire to have a relationship with Krishna. And that's called Samboga, Ishatmika, means in their hearts, they are only thinking, oh, I want to be with Krishna. And when he will embrace me, when we will dance together, when will he be mine? And then the. Yeah. One question. Well, if there is one question because of the shootings. This is not so easy to understand that scriptures are uh, embodied. Um, how to understand that nicely? These are described as gopis here in this uh, book. And is it that those gopis brought the scriptures 
in this they are serving as a scripture but they are gopis they are not gopis they say that i don't know 20 thousand years do tapasya only to serve you as a, as a suti richer vedas puranas from 20000 30000 years and i want to feel closeness from you please that is my tapa so you give me one chance to be your gopi then krishna rama say in krishna avatar i will come as a krishna then we will accept you all that is uh, good it means by mercy they get a spiritual body as a gopi after 10000 20000 year tapa wow. they get the wow not ordinary we cannot dream my that that's a very high topic also to understand so this suti and richa and puranas and vedas are the books wow. so can we also think about that they was before also suti by suti by tapas yeah, yeah. their desire come to be close to krishna understand good but uh, how they come to to this planet for example na they are, they are gifted they are rishis maharshi rishis they was rishis yeah do tapasya my tapas and give the truth to this yeah. to their disciples mm-hmm. they are still there but without body and praying for no body. but body they are right right to go up and they became personified aha so they they took the body of the books like this yeah of the scripture the scripture wow. so they give aha uh-huh. yeah, yeah yeah they become gopi yeah rishi maharshi in rama avata then that before they can 10000 20000 wow. they can live in the water yeah and do tapa wow only to get the closeness of the god yeah they take shelter to krishna not to radhika and so they become gopis mm. and like to be like radhika mm. but yeah. they don't take shelter to radhika no possible. and cannot become no possible no possible Krishna, so they are gopis, but so go they are not manjaris. They are gopis, but you will still go on. But in this is the our sadhak. They are manjaris. Hello, sadhna, very nice. Eighty-eight. We have to read on and on this. Hmm. The word samadrisha refers to the allegiance or following of the gopis' feelings, and the word sama means that the Vedas attained gopi bodies. Therefore, unless one accepts the shelter of the braja panitas or gopis as the essence, there is no way to relish. the mellows of the sweet amorous love of the divine pen but now should another from the stako says what is his aspiration he came here to this planet wow. as a follower of chaitanya mahaprabhu and by the mercy of his gurudev he could learn how to uh worship in mandri bhav sadana in that special mood 
of those dasis that are serving Srimati Larika. And they are only one pointed in this service. And he's praying. He tells his own mind to take exclusive shelter of the lotus feet of Srimati Radhika. Living up the mind's absorption and attachment to all other topics, taking exclusive shelter of the lotus feet in all respect, with body, mind and words, is taking exclusive shelter. The exclusive shelter of Shimate, of the lotus feet of Sri Radharani, who is the crown jewel of all Gopikas, is the greatest love of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas who practice the service of Radha. So, like Gurdjieff said, the Rishis and the Monis who took a body and who were personified. Vedas, they did tapasya, means they were sitting in cages or in far in the Himalaya mountains and they meditate about the pastimes of Krishna, Krishna's Rasa Lila, and they took shelter of the Skopi mood and I was praying for this. And then finally, after tens of thousands of doing these meditations in great tapasya, they were blessed by Krishna that they could be in such a relationship with him. But us, we are now here in this fallen age, Kali Yuga. It's very difficult for us even to control our senses, what to speak of, of a constant uh, Tapasya, not eating or breathing only, uh, you know, once in a while, and all these things that the yogis do. That is impossible for us. We need the mercy of Srimati Radhika. Srimati Radhika has come as Sri Goranga, as Sri Gorangi, to give. In this age, the most precious gift of the service to her lotus feet. Because even Krishna, when he saw the gopis who are serving Srimati Radhika, the small mandaris, they are the smallest. They are called also kinkaris. The kinkaris are like very young girls, or they are called buds. They are very, very like young and tender and sweet. And they are only interested in service of Srimati Radhika and not interested in serving Krishna. They serve Krishna because he is her beloved. That is the only meditation. They have no self-interest. And Krishna was so much impressed with this mood of selfless service because he always watches them as they are painting Srimati Radhika's lotus feet. What he cannot do because he becomes completely uh, confused because of the beauty of Srimati Radhika. But these small little manjaris, they can do it. And they are completely fixed in that service that they can even say to Krishna, Ah, you try to serve our Swami, but let us do it. You have to go to the side. It's too uh, imperfect. So Krishna was so inspired by the service to Swamini that he also thought, I want to also serve Swamini like they, like they do. 
And some who came like to experience their love, their selfless love. Because Krishna is Rashika Shikara. He wants to always taste all the moods of love and he is only attracted by love. So he is attracted to that selfless love of Srimati Radhika that reflects in all of her small gases. And he also wants to relish that feeling. And that mood is called Bhava Ulasa Rati. In Sri Vilapa Kushmanjali, Ananta Das Babaji is very nicely explaining what is the speciality of this Bhava Ulasa Rati of Srimati Radhika's Dasis, which are the smallest gopis and the most uh, surrendered and most closest uh, servants of Srimati Radhika. This is a special category of selfless devotional service that even Krishna cannot understand. And, selfless. Yeah, selfless. Selfless means no need to ask to you anything that you give something. That is self. I not to pray. <laughs> Business is over praying. <laughs> Could it just says that selfless means even the praying business is over. <laughs> that I want something from you. I want only you. And that is the speciality of this of this feeling and this mood. And uh, it's given by Shri Guru, by Guru Parampara, this feeling of service is coming down. And Srila Ananta Das Babaji is quoting in his commentary about this mood, that it is so special because when this feeling grows in our hearts to become selfless, then Shimati Radhika is, is accepting us and she will make our hearts like her heart. Shiguru is helping us, therefore he says, become selfless and check yourself. Where is my consciousness in that regard? Where am I still giving to just receive? How where can I give without expecting anything in exchange? And how can I transform my personality in such a being? Such a beautiful, pure, shining, lovely being that has no intention to control, but only to serve. And because this is such a wonderful um, personality, we are following. We're following Rupa Goswami, Raghunath Goswami, and we are reading their prayers again and again, and we cannot stop because something in my heart is resonating so deeply, is so attractive. But the one point is that this can only be attained by grace. It's not my doing even. I try my best, but I cannot. I can never reach the goal. I'm very small. But, uh, there are steps to follow while chanting. Uh -huh. Can you please explain what are the steps? Now is there. Is it written there? The most 
important item of this meditation is adopting the right mode. Read, read, read. Yes. Not explain. And which? In Raganuga Bhajan, one must meditate on rendering loving devotional service in a mentally conceived spiritual body, which is suitable to one's adopted mood and which has been bestowed by Shri Guru. And the most important item of this meditation is adopting the right mood. For if one does not aim at the right mood, the spiritual body, which is suitable to one's adopted mood, will be hard to attain in all respects. And the right mood is explained as taking exclusive shelter of the lotus feet of Srimati Radhika. This is the meaning of side on. <laughs> this is the basic. Is the frame by teach and regard. Not the lapus money. If I am not in the frame by teach and regard, if I have a desire for love, this is the way. Vila Kusum Manjari is the book of uh, Radharani Bhakti, one pointedness, but in the frame Bhakti Chandra. If you have a need to love, this is the highest love, selflessness. Exclusive shelter. Exclusive shelter. Only one. No other shelter. Kahe Kada. I'm Hana to Wow. Why you bother? I wish you. Radha Rani say that is as good. So he is telling that now Devo pursued that. Devo, we want Devi to be too. And we are not changing Devo. Devi will not pray. Do not pray for her for any building and wedding, any blessing. Mm -hmm. We want to serve her. I don't want anything from you. My mood is a bow last week. Not that I want a business like a Amazon with you. Give and take. You have to give that I am. Exclusively your dust. No, nothing derived from me. I am praying to Devo, Devo that you make me one point of person. I am very foolish for that. My desire only for her to serve. Prema service, love service. No other business I want to do. Right? I'm trying to be in my spiritual body, but I'm in material body, but I will leave it. One pointedness to give the happiness to others. I have a mic. You have happiness for all of every being. 
because dasa no dasa no dasa. All are pure, pure, and act the dasa of all. If this not come, then false ego can enter. Dasa no dasa no dasa no dasa. For everyone. <clears throat> this is Kinkari. This is Kinkari now. When we will practice Manjari Bhav, then we can be Kinkari. Smallest. Lowest. Because we see our Swamini everywhere, in all... Every living beings. Because anyone has a little love, my Swamini, because of my Swamini. Even why I love Jesus? Because He has a love. Why love? And when his love is there, this love is coming from where? From my soul. One time, Brother Rani asks to Sivanjari, why, why are you loving me so much? What is it, you know? Why are you love me? So <laughs> And then, uh, yeah. One one time, I just remember this little bit when you said about uh, why we love Swamini. And then Swamini asked this question to Tulsi Manjari. She asked, "Why you love me so much? You know, what is it? You know, why can't you live without me a second? When I disappear, you cry." When I'm here, you cry. So what is it? Why? And then Tulsi Manjari answers, because my Guru Dev, my Guru Manjari introduced me to you. That's why I can't forget you anymore. So I was feeling that even this is Guru Kripa, that I want to take exclusive shelter of Swamini is because of Guru Manjari. It's not my own. She is giving this, and I have to associate exclusively with her heart, with Guru Manjari's heart, so then I can really say, you are mine. And when this type of confirmed faith will come in my sarup, Ananya Guru is near. Before is not Nishta. Is a sadha. What I say, not firm faith happen. Is less just like doubtful faith is there. When I I will say because of my Guru Manjari, I love you. Why he gave you my spiritual form? Then is a firm faith is talk to Radhika, to Somni, that what I can do, he introduce you. This is a firm faith. Till I know, see the sarup of Guru Manjari, we have not firm faith. That is a sarup nishtha. Guru Manjari, yesterday, Guru Manjari nishtha is a firm faith. He says, Bhajan Kriya. Anartha Nivirti Nistha. Nistha is this Nistha. Sarup Nistha is Nistha. 
અને ગુરુ I'm with you. Why are you bothering for anything? That's his room. The three things is required. Nishtha. Nishtha. Nishtha will come. Guru Nishtha will come. East Nishtha will give Guru Nishtha. And Sarup Nishtha will come. More East Guru Nishtha will come. Wow! Life and life is limited. Why to change anything? Change means what to change? Then I have to change my whole life. How you can change? This is Pancharatri Parampara. And one is a Bhagavad Parampara. This is not good, that is good, that is not good, this is good, this is not good, this is good. Two, three, four, five, but nothing happening might change in my life. This is the reason behind that, is speech to a reason behind that. Guru, can you explain more about Sarup Nishtha? Sarup when I have an issue there, and I want to be close and live with her, how I can live? In my sadhana, and I will meditate in my manjari saru and try to fix to develop that and do bhajan for that because what is the hindrance to block my saru is my false ego. There is nothing is blocking to me. And when I will chant and live in chanting, automatically it will reveal. It has to be condensed. Something how can be a condensed? You boiled milk one time, it is not condensed. You have to on and on and boil it. Means on and on, you have to practice and leave it there. It will become condensed. All right? When the things become condensed, can you say when Lila Smaran starts happening, when it's happening, then Svarupanishtha is going? Ekan is written here in Sloka Ekan. You need little people <coughs> from the career. Any time we have to work in man, we have to work. But a can't is also there. Then you sleep. Right? You have always a can't, but we use a can't. 
for my sleeping and resting, for my sense relaxation. Too much ego, then a can't, I misuse that a can't. That a can't has to be where nobody disturbs you. That is a can Bogi sleep that time, yogi wake up that time. That is the point. Who desire to get something, they have to wake up. And who want to enjoy, they want to sleep. It. But they can't. We have need a place for a can't. To develop myself first. Right. Mind has to a can't. Body has to a can't. Senses has to a can't. And chanting will keep distance to the false ego. False ego can enter in different, different circumstances and whole disturbance starts because they come to disturb us. My ego, my peace. We have to care for to be not use using that a can't not not using not the foolish intelligence used more to be in a can't one point a can't means peaceful time is a can't you cannot sleep if you are not in a can't if you are not quiet, you cannot sleep. You think and try to sleep. You cannot sleep. You start thinking something and something again and again and again. You cannot sleep. You have to relax yourself to relax your, your body and stop your thinking. Your false ego, please don't disturb me. No, nothing is too. Something disturb, they disturb your peace. So everything needed. And you have to see who is your friend and enemy who created the disturbance. And who is your real friend who keep you in a can't? What is the opposite of a can't? A means peace. And opposite is disturbance. Confusion. Confusion, thinking. Mind is confused. And confusion is start growing more and more. There's a darkness, dark energy, black energy, ghost energy. Bhutas. Already I have eight Bhutas, and slowly I have come out from that eight Mahabhutas. And then I become peaceful. And then again, Mahabhuta want to come attack any time to me. Foolish attacked by Mahabhutas again and again. Then all creates positiveness, become negativeness.
This is all false ego creation. Huh? Says shooting her own So Ekan is creating city. No city. A can't will give you a chance to go in. That city is the highest thing. A can't should make you bread farm to be there and grow your bhajan. Bhajan and your mind in your sarup and sarup city is the goal. Sarup has to go more and more. Anandas Baba, he said, what is sarup? Your feeling is the sarup. Feeling will has to condense is your sarup. If your feeling is not condensed, you are far from the soul. That's why you always mention in the garden of the city. It's all inner business. Mm. Before we are doing external business, to show others. Yeah, nobody is going to see you, but you will see that. I will do for myself is a selfishness. I say, yes, first you become selfish for yourself, for your death. If you, I am in the chain, binded my feet and how I can open the chain. I am a block. I am in jail. And I want to open other chain. <laughs> Understand? If I have no realization, how I can help others? I am not perfect. I will make you imperfect because I am not perfect. I will misguide you. Right? So be selfish for this perfection. Huh? Mahaprabhu says, Name Ruchi. Jive there. Right now. Name Ruchi, Jive there, Vaishnava. Naam major when Ruchi comes, you start then looking to all Jiva. And you always in the service of the Lord. Naam Ruchi, Jive Daya, Vaishnava Seva. So what is there? First mercy has to be my to me. This jiva also need that. My soul also need mercy. If I can give mercy to this jiva, then I can help to others. Right? 
then what will happen now when the test will come in name then give it there give it there is very special thing daya to first you see your jiva marti to the jiva if i no see this then how i will see in you jiva Vaishnava, all is Vaishnava, all to respect. And now we have to give it there. All, if I enlighten myself, all I will see. Simply so. And I try to serve as per I can do it. Right? We so deep. This is the eighty-eight. Is the sadhana thing? Your sadhana is this. What by what be? Again, the one-pointed loyalty of the devotees who are fixed in Mandari Bhav. Who have offered their hearts to the lotus feet of Sri Radharani, the crown jewel of Sri Krishna's sweethearts, is so wonderful that even the grace of Sri Prajendra Nandana cannot steal away their minds, even if Sri Radharani. If Sri Radharani is not involved, so means that when the mandaris are doing service and Krishna is coming and wants to offer them, oh my dear Saki, nobody is looking. You can now. Let's have a very good intimate time. That his his love, his offering, cannot steal the minds away. If Sri Radharani is not involved. When Sri Radharani wanted to give Sri Madhuragana Das Goswami uh, to Sri Krishna, he said, "Oh, nicely tied, Sri Radhe." If you do not bestow your grace unto me, then what is the use of my life, my residence in Vrindavan, or even Sri Krishna to me? <laughs> Their loyalty consists of Tavai Vasmi, Tavai Vasmi, oh, oh. Najiva Mi, Tvayavina. This can bring you well up, Mutsaman Juli. Mm -hmm. This is giving the hint. Prepare with this way to reach to the well up, Mutsaman Juli. Mm -hmm. And how they feel. Oh, Radhe, I am yours. I am yours. I cannot live without you. Mama, <laughs> you are my mama. You are my mother. I, I little want to grow. How I will grow? First thing, 
baby put that finger in the navel why they put navel finger when they little drinking milk that they put the navel and do this way. because they say are you forget me but i have a never to never connect and with you you cut my navel my navel was joined with you mama you are my ma i you give me birth but you have to feed me if you no know, feed me i cannot grow my spiritual life will not grow Now open the breast and then put the nip breast and press the nipple in the mouth of baby baby don't understand this milk and he don't do anything again mama put one drop again and put the nipple also in the mouth of baby no understand what to do but then he feel that milk is coming then he then some milk can start coming then he start liking he don't know even where is my food well i don't know my spiritual life how it will grow so you are my mama i am your baby my material body grown up my spiritual body not grown up and i got the spiritual body how it will grow without your breastfeeding radhika is my mama see then we put the finger in the navel you will see manjari is only talking about the navel and the breast of radhika because she grew by the breast why baby can only grow by the mama breast <laughs> because this breast mama open like this and the lover has to open himself lover mom beloved not open the breast for the lover lovers has to open the button and belt of the beloved so who is more close baby is our more close she is in the flight open the breast are many are looking why you are hiding not are baby some clothes and something to cover the thing nobody is seeing Every, everybody is saying why you would do that very personal thing for baby they don't bother they think all oh, nobody is <laughs> my baby <laughs> then she open because she need air baby is important for mama and manjiri is are important for the radhika more and more this is the manjiri wow this is the manjiri wow you is not understanding you have no feeling of mother <coughs> 
this is the mantri so see the importance lovers are important a baby feeding is important for mother that time he is a weight man i have this little work save work my baby will be feed then i will talk to you and we will go okay i am waiting for you this is the position the manjis are this way more close and more close and more near understand mama prema yeah The manjari is still like a Radhika, the mother. And Krishna is still Radhika like a lover. Understand? You don't like this idea? <laughs> to see her like a mother? <laughs> Feel the breast of her. His spiritual life will not grow. Krishna cannot give what Mama can give. Man cannot give. They have no breast. <laughs> no, I can say. Softness is not there. Milk is not fair. Every form of your mother. Especially one girl wants to be every to do the mama. I know mama. That child wants to copy mama. Yeah. To be same like mama. The girls. The girls want to be a mama. They want to be mama. Manjari not want to do this. Manjari wants to be always baby. Mother Teresa is always a baby. Yeah. Not become mama. Not Teresa. Not become Radhika. Not Teresa Radhika. What to become Manjari? That is the goal of life. That is the spirituality. How to be your baby? Como ser un bebé? How to be you? You accept me like a baby. That is Manjari. And these all we do sadhana to that. I have no business with Krishna. He has no milk. Oh, I can eat her breath. He steals the milk. He is a butter stealer and milk stealer. He is only dream searching for milk. But we are baby. We want to be baby. My life is nothing. We grown up physically. Is visually zero, nada. That I want to grow spiritually. For that I am just born. And in my Siddha Deha, my body is six. My age is 11 years, 28 days. And my brother, disciple age is 11 years, 27 days. One day difference. This is the relation with the spiritual relation, divine relation. That will stay. 
when I will leave this metal here. But and one day, sure, everybody has to leave this. It's temporary. 